And so I'm here, and maybe this time he grabs both hands. You know, like instead of grabbing his gi, he just grabs both hands. And then maybe for whatever reason, I can't, um, what do you call it, um, get my knee on his hand. Like maybe if he takes this hand and like under, under my leg, through, grab, like maybe grab like that. Can you all see that? Mm -hmm. You know, so now I can't do the previous move that I did um, just a few seconds ago because, you know, I, I, I can't get my knee in to where I can um, try it across. So I don't do this to you guys because I like you. Except you, why? I don't I like you. But, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but in a tournament, what I would do is I would turn my chest to the ground and then explosively move from on my stomach chest all the way to my left hip. Look to the right chest. Uh, uh, which will go like this. And what's happening here is if he does not let go of his grip to brace, his face is going to smash into the mat. Sometimes they can't let go of their grip in time. But then their face smashes into the mat, then they let go of the grip, and then I can moral. So like I said, I don't do it to my friends. And I want you to go slow when you drill this, but just realize that that's on the table, is me turning all the way over here and then explosively going there. So it's basically I'm going to strike him with the ground, which is going to be an unpleasant experience for my friend. The other thing I can do is, say I went here, that didn't quite work. I'm in a bench press type position. Just push him over. You'd be surprised that sometimes the best answer is like the most simple answer. So we're in this position. I'll just see if I can't bench press him off, almost like the white belt solution. Like, you know, you see a, a new white belt comes in and he's like a long time Gold's Gym member. He's like, shoot, I'm gonna bench press myself out of this bad situation. And it usually won't work, but sometimes it does. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him the white belt solution. I'm gonna just bench press him out because his hands are attached. So I just need to push. You know, so I got a little strength that I can push here and I can, I can use my legs to help me and push. And one of two things is gonna happen. Either he's gonna roll over or he's gonna let go and he's gonna post. And then I pull his arm out and I come over. So try it again, my friend. So we get here, he grabs around my leg so I could not put my, do my previous escape. I could turn, face planting, or just go here. He holds on, just push. Now it's not gonna work every time just that easy, but see if it will, because sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. But if it doesn't, I can always go back to switching my hips really quick with the possible face plan. And then if he lets go, I can always put the knee back on the hand and use my back to pry it open. So I, I want to keep him working to defend whatever mischief I come up with. Or cash, do this and see. So I have the Kimura, he reaches through. If he reaches that way, I put my knee on his fist. But if he reaches around my leg to grab, which is a good strategy, I'm turning here and then using all my explosive movement to turn back. And you see how he, he automatically, nobody wants to face plant. So I get to finish my move. If we turn and I didn't get it and he continues to hold, go ahead, hold. I think you're holding on both hands. Because if you let go, I'm gonna put the knee on the hand. If he goes here, just see if I can push up and come over. So let's team up, try that with each other. But don't explode into the hip movement. I don't want you guys to face my <clears throat>